Hi guys, Hawk here. I um, wanted to make a quick sturgeon guide for beginners. Um, I'm going to share with you a three spot rotation. Uh, it's real easy, real simple. It's a great grind. Um, start with baits. Baits you can use can vary from spawn sack, um, large cut bait, crawfish, uh, and duck muscle meat. At a lower level, you're going to have duck muscle meat open. Uh, I think it opens at level 20. Uh, spawn sack seems to be the best, uh, but any of those baits will work for the uh, sturgeon. Um, current rod I have is a very overpowering rod. Uh, just happens to be the rod that I have on me. Um, as a beginner, you can get away with a bottom sniper if you didn't buy any DLC packs. Uh, and that's about as small as you can go for these fish. Uh, you will have a little bit of a fight, um, but the bottom sniper will work. Uh, you don't need a titanium leader uh, any bottom rod setup. You do need a leader um, The sturgeon are not gonna bite your freaking break your line uh, by biting it off um, How we do this it's a two-hour rotation um, you can see I'm at nine o'clock uh, I'm gonna catch three Six fish at three locations two at each location um, I will have my six fish before I hit 11. Once I get my uh, six fish, I'm going to fast forward to 11 p.m. Catch six fish, fast forward to 1 a.m. Catch six fish, fast forward to 3 a.m. Um, just make sure you skip before 5 a.m. In this case, it would be the day three at 9 p.m. Uh, peaks really don't matter with the sturgeon. Um, it's just that two-hour respawn window at each spot. Now there are definitely more than three spots to fish these sturgeon. Uh, this is one I've helped a lot of people with. It seems to be the easiest rotation, uh, especially for beginners. Um, you'll probably only have like a 300 pound net. Uh, you'll definitely fill your net before 5 a.m. Um, with that being said, let's just go to it. Uh, um, we're gonna start at fishing the beaver, which is right here. Once you spawn at the island, you're going to look over here at these poles. Um, I night skip these fish because there's no cool down. Because again, you're going to fill your net real quick. As you can see, my line is quick, uh, um, clipped at 101 feet. Um, I'm going to leave it at that. Because that's going to work for all three of my spots. Let's throw it out and wait. Now on the bottom you see where it says 101 slash 1030. The reason I clip my line is for a couple reasons. Uh, one, I always have the perfect cast. And two, when that 101 switches to 1030, you strike. See how it switched to 1030? When it matches, you strike. That means the fish is there. Again, if you're using a bottom sniper, it will work. You'll just have a little bit of a fight on your hands. For some reason, you don't get your fish before 11 o'clock, your six fish. Um, just start your rotation over. If you get it before that, fast forward to 11. Not a good fish, then. Hooks, you can go from 3 aught to 5 aught, sometimes 6 aught. I recommend a 3 aught, especially if you have a bottom sniper. Um, that way you're catching smaller fish. You're not going to have uh, as much of a struggle to bring them in. Alright, that's spot one. Um, share with the GPS. Can I clip it a 100? Um, where is it? There it is. My buoys might be a little short, but it'll give you something to aim at. Minus 56. And yeah, it looks like minus 32. Yeah, it's minus 32. Um, to make the video short, I'm just going to move instead of getting my two fish. Spot two is going to be over here. And you see that telephone pole, the tree, it's right there. Again here, my buoy is probably a little short. Uh, this is a better mark for GPS. Uh, minus 15. Minus 33. Uh, you can float fish this. If you float fish it, it's 78 deep. Uh, this buoy says 86 feet out. I like to be at about 95 feet out. Again, that's why I'm clipped at 100. 
Uh, let's toss it out and see. Again, lower level, you're going to probably have to use duck muscle meat. Large cut bait again works, crawfish works. Spawn sack seems to be the best. This is a fun lake though. You got uni carps or uni striped bass. Um, there's steelhead here are fun to catch. You have your comet fish like smallies and what have you. See how that switch at 1030? The strike. You're gonna get sick of sturgeon after a while. This is a grind. We've all done it. So that's spot two. So again to reiterate, two fish at spot one. Catch two fish here at spot two. And then let's move to spot three. Hopefully you have a boat. Um, if not, you can reach it from here. With your bottom rod. It's gonna be out there at that tree. That's right where those guys are. I'm gonna zip over there in the boat. Don't leave the lake unless you need repairs or more bait. Basically it's right here. About 50 feet I think it is right in front of you. <laughs> Look at that 50 feet right on the nose. It's a spot three. drifting in towards me oh, there he is yeah I went 10 30 so that's spot three catch two fish here and then start all over after the six fish go back to Beaver Island come here reason you do this again at night is because there's no cool down um, again it's a two hour respawn so I started at 9 get my six fish then we go to 11 catch our six fish then go to one I'll just do one real quick I want to keep this video as short as possible playing with it already yeah it's 10 30 on the bottom and then strike and then just keep rinsing and repeat just make sure you skip before 5 a.m. Um, for some reason if your nets not full before 5 a.m. make sure you skip before 5 a.m. so you stay without a cool down where it doesn't cost your coins while I'm here carp by this island we like carp fishing there's carp over here too back side of the island I don't know what the hell this guy is fishing for dam is a great spot if you get sick of the sturgeon this little corner here is great for stripers um, large cut bait, shiners, large minnows uh, will work for the stripers. Um, let's go to daytime real quick. You can see a little better. Let's go where we got at least some light. $7,000 on three fish. It's right here, down at the stripers. You can see this island you can cast here. Um, crankbaits work good, medium spoons, single spoons. Um, this is the lane you want to run. 
you can see this greenhouse. You can run this with lures. Steel heads are here. Poppers, walkers, shallow cranks. Um, you can float fish out here. Um, they will bite spawn sacks. You know, just look at your fish species. Um, if you get, you get bored with the sturgeon, it just gives you a different option. Uh, out here, if you row out here or take your boat out here, you will see fish bubbling. You can float fish this. I'll give you that buoy mark real quick. Once I find it. Um, the unis are out there. That's a GPS, 39, 61. Like I said, you can see a lot of uniques out there. Oh, steelheads there. Oh, that's... But, they're the uniques. That's from that lane. This is the closer one. The uniques can be here at night and daytime now. And on your stripers. Or your steelheads, excuse me. Um, good luck, tight lines. I'm um, gonna end the video. I'll make some more in the future. Um, I've had a few people ask me to make a video on this because uh, I've helped a few people with this rotation. It's your easiest and your quickest rotation. Uh, you can use multiple rods and a rod stand if you want. So if you sat here, so you can see this in the day, is this pole here. If you put two, three rods out there, just remember catch two fish and then move. That's going to be right here. You can see that telephone pole, the tree. It's right here. Two fish, move. And then where those guys are over there. Again, good luck. Tight lines. And...